Hola, clase, ¿cómo están? In este video, voy a explicar los adjetivos posesivos. So in this video, we're going to be talking about possessive adjectives in Spanish. Muy bien, let's begin. So possessive adjectives, just like the name implies, indicate possession or ownership. And here are the possessive adjectives in Spanish. So we have mi, mis, tu, tus, su, sus, nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras, vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, vuestras, su, and sus. So let me just quickly break this down. Mi or mis can uh, mean my, okay? And this is going to depend on the thing that's being possessed. So if the thing that's being possessed is singular, you're going to say me. If the thing that's being possessed is plural, you're going to say mis. Okay, and the same goes for these two. So tu is your, okay, or tus. Su is uh, his or her. Um, it can also be uh, your uh, if you're talking in the U formal, the usted form. Okay, su or sus. Nuestro would be our, O-U-R in English. And with nuestro, there's actually four forms, and they're going to correspond to both number and gender. So if the thing that I'm possessing is singular and masculine, I would use nuestro. If the thing that I'm possessing is singular and feminine, I would use nuestra. If the thing that I'm possessing, or I should say we are possessing, right, uh, is plural and uh, masculine, I would use nuestros. And if the thing that we are possessing is plural and feminine, I would say nuestras. Muy bien. So the vosotros form also has, uh, also corresponds to both number and gender, okay? Just like up here. So we have vuestro, vuestra, vuestros, and vuestras. And all of these are going to mean uh, your, uh, or um, actually, yeah, just your. Um, but we're talking about a group of people, right? Um, and then finally, we have ellos, ellas, ustedes, okay? And notice these are the same as the third person singular form, okay? So if I want to say their car, um, I could say su carro. If I want to say their cars, I would say sus carros. Um, so this can be there, but it also can be your when I'm talking to a group of people because um, ustedes is you all, right? Okay, muy bien. So let's take a look at some examples. Um, let me just re-emphasize that possessive adjectives change number and or gender depending on the object being possessed. So let's take a look at some specific examples and I'll explain that. So I have mi cuaderno, mi cuaderno. That means my notebook. So notice I only have one notebook, right? So it's just mi cuaderno. What happens if I change mi cuaderno um, to plural? What happens if I have more than one notebook? Now the mi is going to become mis. So now this is mis cuadernos. And that happened because I changed from singular to plural. Okay, and my possessive adjective is going to reflect that. Okay, muy bien. Here we have casa. So the word casa is feminine and it's singular, right? Um, so with our nuestro form, uh, the, the nuestro has to reflect the thing that's being possessed, the object that's being possessed. So this is uh, singular and it's feminine. So it's going to be nuestra casa, okay? And that would translate to our house. What happens when I make this plural? I'm just going to add an S to this, right? So now it's going to be nuestras casas. And that's going to translate to our houses. Okay, so here we have the third person form, okay? So su carro would, um, can be either his car, her car, or their car. Um, so it can be a bit ambiguous. That's why it's really important to specify um, who is um, possessing the object in your sentences when you write in Spanish. Uh, so what happens when we change su carro to, or what happens when we change carro to carros? What happens when we change um, the singular car to cars? we have to change the possessive adjective. So it becomes sus carros, okay? And that would translate to his, her, or their cars, okay? And it's going to be carros um, because uh, it's going to be sus because carros now is plural. So a very common mistake um, that beginners make when they're speaking Spanish or when they're writing Spanish is when they want to say their car, um, sometimes people will write sus Carro, because they see the there and they automatically want to do that form, right? But the only time you have sus is when the thing that is being possessed is plural, okay? So their car is actually going to be su carro. If you want to say their cars, then it would be sus carros. Okay, muy bien. Eso es todo. Muchas gracias, clase, y hasta la próxima.